All right, guys, we got some big updates for version 2.3.2.0. If you don't see these next options in your version of the Predator, make sure you guys upgrade to the latest version. Under 29 Trade Saber in the Predator properties, you should be seeing 2.3.2.0. Or if you're watching this down the road, you should probably have the newest version. So always check tradesaber.com for the latest version. Or if you're on the free trial, go to our Discord in the trial info room, you will find the latest version in there. But these next updates have been heavily requested by many, many of you. So we finally have our unrealized per trade kill switch. We also added a total account kill switch, which should be very helpful for those on prop firms. And we also added some filters that will stop your trading depending on the number of wins or losses in a day. There are a bunch of customizable options for each one and we'll go over them in this video. And for those that are new here, this is for the Predator X order entry for Ninja Trader. It's an order entry and management system that lets you build full and or semi-automated trading bots. It's got a bunch of customizable and trader friendly options. This video up here is going to explain that a whole lot better. We also have a user guide and a free trial. All the links for that are going to be down below. But with that, let's get right into it. All right, for our first option, we're going to head down all the way to our additional filters. And this is the number one requested item. So we're gonna start off with this one. And that is talking about the unrealized loss per trade. And what this does is it's just basically a kill switch, but for each individual trade. So the way it works is when your unrealized PNL reaches this number into the negative, it's going to automatically take you out of that position. Now, some of you may be asking, isn't this just a stop loss? Well, yeah, kind of, but there are some cases where this might actually be helpful. So I'm just going to run through a common scenario here. I'm going to set a loss limit at 300 and I'm going to enable this. One common scenario where this might be helpful is if you're setting your stop at the bottom of the previous candles and sometimes the candle that you're setting your stop based on is much too low or too far away where your risk becomes quite a bit bigger. So this is just going to help you limit those losses on every single trade if that is something that you want to do. So I'm just going to play it here and you'll see down here when it reaches negative 300 PNL, it's just going to take us out of that position before it reaches our final loss. And you're going to see up here, it will say unrealized loss limit with the limit amount. This is not going to show the PNL at the time. This is just going to show what your limit was at that time. So you lost 300 and it took you out of that trade right before your stop. All right, now let's run through another scenario. So our previous example, it's just going to take you out when your unrealized PNL hits this number into the negative but it's not going to trail up or down. It's just going to be a static number. But what if instead, as we're moving into profit, you only want to retrace a certain amount. And then if it retraces that amount, it's going to take you out of your position. Very similar to a trail stop. Again, this is just another option that a lot of you guys have been asking for. So we also added the trail unrealized loss limit. And what this is going to do is going to start trailing this number from the highest PNL. So as you move into profit, it's going to start trailing $300 behind and it's just going to keep moving up and up. And you can also choose to start that whenever you want. So if you don't want to start trailing until you reach $200 into profit, you have that option. But if you want to start trailing right away, you can just set this at one. That's going to start trailing pretty much instantly. So again, let's run through an example of how that looks. And here, I'm just going to enter long. I'm going to set my stop really far, or my profit really far away, sorry. And just hit play. So over here, we have our unrealized limit. So you can see we are 300 away, but as we start moving into profit, this becomes our new limit. So if the PNL retraces and touches this negative 162.5, it's going to take us out of our position. And as we start going more and more into profit, you're going to see that starts trailing up. So let's speed this up just a little bit. And here we're 487, 500. 
and it's just constantly going to move up from that highest PNL point. All right, so once the PNL retraced and hit our limit, takes us out of our position. Again, very, very similar to a trail stop. This is just another option for those that want a per trade kill switch. But with that, let's move on to our next feature. All right, for our next kill switch option, this one again was highly requested and we have a total account kill switch. And this is going to be very, very helpful for those trading with prop firms. So what this was designed to do is once your account reaches a certain profit, or a certain loss as well. It's going to take you out of your position and it's not going to allow you to trade again. Now, this is different than the daily. The daily is just for that specific day and then it resets on every new day. The total account on the other hand is designed for the total account. And let me just expand that. So any day your profit goes above this limit or below this limit, it's going to stop trading. So there are a few caveats with this one. You have to be aware of your actual account size. A big majority of users in our group are trading with 50K Apex accounts. So I kind of have it set to that already. So once your total account reaches 53,000 in profit, takes you out of the trade. Or once it reaches 52,000, it falls to 52,000. Again, takes you out of the trade. This can be configured to whatever you want. For this example, I am going to be using it on one of my live evals, but this one's brand new. So I'm just going to change it to a $100 profit or the same thing on the other side. If it falls $100 from where it currently is, I want to be taken out. And one more thing when it comes to this is it uses market orders. That means it is not guaranteed on where it fills. So once it actually takes you out of the position, your actual fill price could be a little bit higher. It could be a little bit lower. So just keep that in mind. If you are trying to aim so it takes you out of the position as soon as you pass an account, I would maybe set it just a little bit higher than whatever your passing limit is to maybe $25, $50 over just to kind of give you a little bit extra leeway for when it submits that market order. But again, just for this example, I'm just doing $100 in either direction because it is an actual account and it's going to be a random trade for this video. So oh, let me change this to my account. So I'm just going to do my uh, 50K and I just have a simple reversal set up. So this is going to use your net liquidation. This is what Apex actually looks at for your account. So whatever you see in this number, when it hits your profit or your loss limit, that's when it's going to take you out. Again, it's your net liquidation. So we're looking for a hundred dollars in profit or a hundred dollar loss. And I might move these away. I don't know if I gave myself enough room for this one. But you can see as we move into profit or away from profit, this is what the account balance says. So again, it requires the net liquidation to actually hit that number. So it could take a little bit longer to update, but that is the number that Apex looks at. So that's how it works. It's just when that net liquidation hits a certain PNL. So again, you guys can use the daily kill switch as well, and that's going to exit you out a little bit faster, but this total kill switch might just be a little bit easier for that total account PNL. And one last thing that I want to add for this total account kill switch 
is that I'm using the net liquidation because that is what Apex Rhythmic uses. There may be other prop firms or accounts that use a different number than the net liquidation. So if you notice that your prop firm is a little bit different, please send me an email, support at tradesaber.com. This is one of those features that will likely keep getting updated as new versions come out. But with that, let's go on to the next features. All right, our next features, I think these are going to be very, very helpful for those that want to limit their trading to a certain amount of wins or losses per day. But the main benefit here is you don't actually need to know your final realized PL. So unlike the original realized profit and loss limit that we have, where this you do need to know your final PL when you want to stop trading, this new option down here, your wins and losses per day or wins and losses in a row is just going to count your PL at the start of a trade and count it at the end of the trade. If the PL is higher, it's going to count as a win. If the PL is lower, it's going to count as a loss. And from there, you can decide how many wins or how many losses you want in a single day. So both of these options are very similar in that sense where it counts the winners and the losers, regardless of the final PL, it just either needs to be a positive or a negative PL. But there are some slight differences that are going to allow you to customize this to exactly how you want to trade. So first, I'm going to start with the wins and losses per day. And I think this one's pretty straightforward. It's just how many wins you can have in a day or how many losses you can have in a day. Once you reach either one of these numbers, it's going to stop trading. So let's load it up. And here I just set up a simple reversal and we're going to just play it. So here we had a first winning trade, so it counts one win. Here we have two wins. And now we have one loss. Two losses. Three wins, four wins. Three losses. And we set our five wins. So now that we've reached our win limit, it's no longer going to allow us to take any new trades. The reversals are going to keep coming up, but we are limited to the number of wins or losses, whichever one it reaches first. So again, very straightforward on how that one works, but we can dig into it a little bit more. Let's go back into the properties. All right, so we have our wins and loss per day. Now let's just remove that and we're going to select the wins and loss in a row. And yes, you can stack these and use both of them at the same time. I'm just showing one at a time just to make it a little bit easier. But to explain this one, like you may have already guessed, is just how many wins in a row you need in order to stop trading, or how many losses in a row you need in order to stop trading. So in this example, I have it set by default at 99. This is going to mean you need 99 wins in a row before it stops trading. Again, you guys can customize this however you want, but I think how most people are going to use it is by limiting the number of losses in a row. So this basically means you can keep winning and winning and it's not going to take you out, but as soon as you get three losses in a row, that's when it's going to stop trading. So again, I'm just going to show this on a chart really quick, and then I'm going to show you how we can customize this even more. So again, just a simple reversal. And we have our first win, second win, third win, and finally a loss. So now it needs to have three losses in a row and then it's going to stop trading. So there we only had two losses in a row and then we had a winner. So then everything resets. So again, I'm going to keep playing it. There's one loss. Two losses and hopefully, there we go, three losses. And now it's going to stop taking any reversals or any auto entries. So that's just how that works. It's just when you get three losses in a row or whatever number you set. And just so you guys know, you guys can bypass this at any time. And if you wanted to submit a manual order, 
just click the buttons up here and if you notice that it stops trading but you still want to keep trading anyways which that will be your choice at that time you can just click the manual button and it will do that for you but i want to show you one last thing let's go back into the properties all right so now that we've gone through the wins and losses in a row i know i'm going to get some questions so what if we want to keep winning but after we win maybe one or two we want to allow our auto entries to keep winning but I only want to limit my losses at that time to one loss, maybe two more losses instead of the initial three losses in a row or whatever we said. So basically we're tightening our criteria for our losses. So if we want to keep winning, we can, but the moment we lose one or maybe two, that's it. We want to stop trading for the day. So that is why we added the trail loss after win. So let's select that. And this is going to do exactly what we just talked about. So what does this mean? Start trail after X wins. This means that after this number of wins, then it's going to start trailing our loss limit. So initially, when we first enter a trade, we have 99 wins, three losses. But with this option, after we reach two wins in a row, it's going to move our loss limit to only one. This means that we still have the ability to keep winning and winning and winning. But after we win two in a row, if we lose only one, then it's going to stop trading. So again, let's see how that looks on the chart. And I'm going to replay this same scenario. And again, just a simple reversal. So there we have our first win. Then we have our second win. At this point, this is when our trail starts. So now instead of being able to lose three losses in a row, now it's going to start trailing. And now at this time, we're only going to have one loss available before it stops trading. So again, just keep playing it. So it's just going to keep letting us win. And as soon as we hit that one loss, we have a trail in a row, loss one out of one, or whatever number you set it to. But now it stops taking any new reversals or any auto entries you have set. But like always, you can bypass it with those manual buttons. So I hope you guys found these updates useful. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments, let me know on Discord, send us an email, support at tradesaber.com. But as always, take care, enjoy.